the so-called summer. Record rainfall, fields underwater, no sunshine. And then the harvest, again for many, a washout. On his farm in Gloucestershire, James Cox is assessing the damage. The grain harvest is down some 15 to 20 percent, and that's only part of the story. It looks thin, doesn't it? It feels a bit thin. It is. It is. It's and pale. Yes. It's, um, it just doesn't look quite as nice a sample as um, we'd like to see. The difference between this year's poor quality wheat and last year's good stuff is striking. On average, um, the yields are going to be down nationally. Certainly on this farm, we're down 15% on the uh, wheat and 20% on the barley, um, probably a similar amount on our oilseed rate. Uh, quality um, issues have also sort of shown through as well. And it's about the weather, quite simply. We've had a disastrous summer, haven't we? We have. Clearly, then, the British weather has taken a huge toll on the amount of food that's been produced and the quality of that food. And it's not just here, around the world farmers have been facing huge challenges. In America's grain belt, an unprecedented drought has brought disaster. Many crops lost completely. And in Russia, a heat wave has sent yields crashing. Add in ever-increasing fuel prices to work the land and transport the produce, and it's bad news for all of us. The global price of wheat, for example, is up by nearly 30% compared with a year ago, whilst retailers are certainly doing all they can to protect customers from the full impact of that. Of course, some of that inevitably will work through the shop prices. It all means that our weekly shop may cost more, may even taste a bit different. We're seeing uh, uh, carrots that are not quite so sweet as they've been in previous years. We're seeing volumes available down. 25% uh, across most of potatoes and the root crop. And uh, on fruit, well, again, we're seeing much smaller sized fruit coming through. The yields are down again. The poor harvest is not just about fruit and vegetables. Animal feed prices are also going up. And that brings inflationary pressure on meat, eggs and milk. Jeremy Cook, BBC News.